have been performing in the Lenin shipyard at Gdansk to mark the 8th anniversary of martial law. The festival was staged by the Solidarity Trade Union, which was taking advantage of new freedoms granted by Poland's new non-communist leadership. It was their first ever political concert and had a strong anti-apartheid theme. Burroughs has this report from Gdansk. In the unlikely setting of the Lenin Shipyard Hall, Brinsley Ford of the chart-topping British band Aswad found a rousing response to the rallying cry of reggae music. Benjamin! Benjamin! Best known as the poet who nearly became Oxford Professor of Poetry, Benjamin Zephaniah had brought his band with him to Gdansk. Reggae appeals in Poland because it's music with a message, heavy on human rights and political themes. It has a message of freedom, and uh, you can feel it when you dance, the music in your heart. This is the rhythm of life. It's the harsh conditions and poverty of Poland that have drawn the support of reggae artists. Zeke Maniaka went to see the shipyards firsthand with fellow musician Linton Kwesi Johnson, who wrote a song for solidarity in even tougher times when the trade union was banned. I think um, solidarity's spirit of internationalism is great, that on the eighth anniversary of the um, martial law that they should be holding an anti-apartheid show. And I'm very, very pleased that there's so many black musicians have been invited uh, because we too have a history of struggle and we can very much identify with the, with the oppressed people of Poland. For the visiting British musicians, the Lenin shipyard was the scene of the first spark of freedom that's led to the rise of popular movements all over Eastern Europe. Solidarity are using their newfound freedoms to stage their first ever political concert. It's only now under Poland's non-communist leadership that Solidarity has won permission for Western groups to take part in an overtly political musical event. In this concert, we in Poland uh, try to protest and we try to help to support the, uh, all of the uh, warriors which uh, fight against uh, uh, apartheid in all of the world. Solidarity's invitation to black musicians was also a stand against racism within Poland, evidenced by the presence of a local skinhead group attempting to disrupt the concert. The most vulnerable target for hecklers were special guest singers from South Africa, whose traditional unaccompanied style represented the voice of those still under oppression. Solidarity say they feel a debt to artists and activists outside Poland who helped keep their name alive. The message they hope to send from the first reggae gig staged in Gdansk is that all who fight for human rights should stand together. Andrew Burroughs bopping in Gdansk.